you're hearing is up to 2,000 pounds for a score end. It's the strongest bite in the world. Nothing comes close. Not lions, tigers, or bears or mine. Okay? Now I'm going to show you how the mouth works. If you'll notice all the little black dots on the top and the bottom, and on the inside of the mouth, they're sensitive. They're very sensitive to any touch. You don't touch them, you don't see it, it doesn't know it's there. So you touch it. <laughs> It'll pop shut. You get to keep whatever falls in there. That's a mouse trap you can buy if you want them in your house. Okay? Any questions? How did you get a job like this? I grew up here in South Florida. I've always been into the more dangerous the better. And you'll never break a bone, lose a finger, or die in front of an Xbox. But you sure as hell ain't going to do anything worthwhile remembering. <laughs> now, this here is split jaw. Split jaw. Now, look at this bottom jaw. See how it's actually split? Look, do you want some food? This animal has some of the strongest blood in the world. It's being studied all over the world to create cures for diseases such as AIDS, diabetes, heart disease, and even cancer. They believe one of the only cures for such large problem diseases could lie within this animal because it's some of the quickest clotting blood in the world. It's also some of the strongest against fighting off bacteria. Would you believe I've been doing this? Come. You want some food? Come, split off. Come. All the way, lazy. Come on. Come on. It's like, oh, just a little further. Now, as I was saying, this animal's a very good example of just how strong that blood is. If you look at the bottom jaw, it's actually split. The oxygen is very high in this animal's blood. Oxygen helps rebuild tissue. Look closely on the inside of his mouth. Come here, buddy. If you'll come up here again, I'll show you guys. See that? Yeah, cool, huh? That was, injury was so large that it actually healed over just like a piercing in your ear would. Right? Any questions? Anything else you'd like to know so far? Don't even want to know how many people you lost in here? <laughs> Fine, then I'm not going to tell you. What's the difference between the number of crocodiles? The two main differences between an alligator and a crocodile. An alligator is going to have a much more wide, round snout. The crocodile is going to be much more narrow and V-shaped. Also, with the teeth on an alligator, when the mouth is shut, you will only see top teeth. Reedy's a really bad example. He needs braces. But on a crocodile, you're going to see all the teeth. They will interlock. Those are the two best ways to tell. Any other questions? All right. Sorry? Thank you.